Sexual violence happens everywhere in all the conflicts in the world or in other situations of violence. It is really something that is widespread and that we see happening in times of peace and therefore even more in times of conflict. For humanitarian workers, it is also an invisible phenomenon because the victims will not come forward and talk to you like other uh, victims would do. Therefore, you really have to provide services that the victims will trust, where they will access and come and feel safe to tell their stories without having consequences for them. I can give you an example, a very recent example from the Central African Republic where we had a number of victims that went to a, a, a hospital where ICRC staff was working and we referred them to a health center to be tested for sexually transmitted diseases. These women actually didn't go because they were not pregnant, they didn't have small children and therefore by going there they would have been seen as victims of sexual violence. <laughs> na kuona sa vile make sa vile mtu mweko buchi mu barabara tu wakati mtu yuko buchi anaweza sikia tu haya na wakati mwenye haiko kwa nako na alisha kutosha mangoo si haya itakuwa tu siku kwa kangu kwa kusaidia jo hakuna bali anzia ka kuna sakoshi za watoto walikuwa wanabeba wakabanyanganya kwanza banyanganya bamenikata kambo nyilikuwa mkiuno nilikuwa franga za watu za alikirimba sana dolari pakantia sira hapa kushingo ukikatala tunakuua basi mwanadamu mwanadamu na wakati tunaona chuma kya kukuua nikakubali wakafaa kitendo ya wake wanataka kuko sa iko na ile sida les hommes réagissent en y à cette réalité ils disent que ce sont le ce sont l'affaire des femmes parce que c'est la femme elle-même qui s'est fait violer c'est pour cela que nous allons continuer en tant que volontaires à faire nos sensibilisations pour que qu'un jour toute la communauté puisse être au courant et de savoir que le viol c'est quoi et la femme puisse avoir un jour sa place d'être femme. So the way that we can actually reverse this invisibility is by assuming that by default there is sexual violence in armed conflict and other situations of violence and therefore design responses that the victims can get access to so that we create an entry point for them. Even if we don't know how many cases and what are the patterns and trends, we know that there is sexual violence and therefore we need to provide responses that are appropriate.